So, ladies and gentlemen, when looking into this, again, what we want to do is forget about the 10 right now on the outside. What I want to do, Damon, is I want to be able to see, again, what is the largest square number that divides into square root of 96. Forget about the 10 for a second. So what we do is, obviously, the number has to be smaller than 96, right? So 81, no. 64, no. 49, double 49, that's going to be 98. Close, right? But it's not divided into it. 36, we can double 36, which would be 72. But if we add another 36, it's not going to divide evenly. Um, 25, that's not going to go into it. 16, well, I'll have to go in and try it out. But um, actually, 16 times 6 works. So what I do, what I'll do is I'll rewrite this as a square root of 16 times 6. And check in your calculator if you, you, know, you don't remember. You, you got, think about it and say, all right, 16 times 6 equals 96. Does everybody agree with that? Yeah. Yes. OK? So all I'm doing is I'm just rewriting it. I'm just rewriting it as a product. But what's nice about writing it as a product, when you write it as a product of two square numbers, what you can do now is you can take the square root of your square number. That's why we want to pick numbers that we can take the square of. All right? So what I'll do in this case now is I'll just apply some parentheses. The square root of 16 is 4 times the square root of 6. Now. These are both numbers outside of the radical, so I can multiply them together. You can't multiply a number outside a radical in to inside a radical, but since these are both outside the radical, we can now multiply them. So I get 40 square root 6. Okay? And that's it.